Hey, what's up, Facebook? Um, I don't know who this post is for, but I believe this particular post is for a group of very special individuals. I decided to do a video post um, this morning. Um, I couldn't sleep. I'm up and this particular day I um I walked toward this day very carefully This day is the very first day that I'm able to Remember the life and the legacy of Micah. Oh gosh, I um I would dread to see this day coming because it was a very painful um day to remember. As many of you all have been watching me on Facebook throughout the last past six years, which is a very long time, um, you all have been a strength to me. Every like, every comment, every encouraging word, you all have been the wind beneath my wings, literally. And I just want to take the time right now to say thank you. Because you don't have to comment. You don't have to have to like any of the, the pictures that I decided to uh, share with you guys. Um, but I just felt led again tonight to do a video post. Um, this is me at in the wee hours of the morning. There's no makeup. There, you know, uh, there's no reason to be cute at this time of the morning, but it's time to become very transparent. Um, this is a, is a special day and it will always be a special day for myself and for my children for my babies um, again this has been six long years six long years wow it's like time just time waits for no one and it's going to come whether we whether we want it to, or not it's inevitable it's going to come those hard days you know that we we dread to face but I want to encourage a mother that's what that's that that's looking at this video. Um, I always tell people that you can't heal what you can't feel. In order for you to be able to heal or to bring healing in the lives of of other people, you would have had to experienced um, that level of pain and uh, would have had to allow God to heal you in order for you to bring healing to someone else. It's like a chain reaction. God heals you from those hard places in life and he allows you to take that same power that he 
use to bring about a healing in your life. He uses you to express that same healing so that somebody else can be healed. That's what that's what connects us. That's what that's what brings us together. We may not have the same testimony, but the one thing that we have in common is the fact that we have had to walk through a very hard place. And to the mothers that have experienced loss at a major cost, um, there's no words for what that pain feels like. There's no words for it. Um, you can have people around you and they can be very close to you and they not and and they don't have the words for you they 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 don't they don't know how to reach you in that in that place and in that and in that space they they can't reach you because they can't even fathom i'm gonna say it again they can't fathom what that pain feels like i would often tell people in the process Uh, in my own process that I truly believe that God allowed certain people to watch me go through the process and never knew that that testimony would knock on their doors. But God makes no mistakes about what he does in the life of his people because what I experienced and 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 I shared uh most of my testimony through pictures and through post, but my prayer was that I would be a strength to some mother that uh, may have experienced what I went through um, to a certain extent. And let me say this to you, mothers. I call you my sisters in love because the love that we share for our babies is what brings us together. That's what that that's what brings us together. In love, so I call you my sisters in love. Um, again, I used to dread this day, and just two days ago, I was expressing to one of my uh, God sisters. I said, "I'm, I'm having a difficult time um, facing the twentieth. Because I know the day was coming, that's the obvious. But to know how I would handle this day, and 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 I, I still don't know, because that pain can come at a moment's notice. And even though it's been six years for me, I ha- I have my moments. And guess what? I'm entitled to have that moment. And I won't allow anybody to take that moment from me. I don't care who it is. And if a person doesn't understand when I'm having a moment, then they don't need to be around me. Because this is a process. You can't get over the process. You can't get around the process. You just have to simply go through the process. You got to go through it. And with the grace of God, he walks with you through the pro- through the process. He walks with you through the process. Um, I can remember when uh, when I first lost Micah. I felt like I was. I felt like I was on spiritual novocaine. I was numb. 
But God had to numb the hurt. He had to numb it because that was the only way for me to be sane without losing my mind. It was be, it, it was because he had spiritually numbed me. And I think I speak for some of the mothers that may be watching this video. You're in the numbing stage. You're still numb. You haven't you know what it's like to have surgery and they 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 put you on all of this 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 medication to numb you. Um the numb when 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 you're numb after a while that medication begins to wear off and you begin to feel the movement of your limbs again. You begin to feel the activity of your limbs after the Novocaine wears off. So I speak to the mothers who are in the numbing process. Some people stay in the numbing process longer than others. But however, uh, no matter how long it takes for you to stay in that numbing process, you need to stay there. Don't come out of that place until it's time. And don't allow anybody to pull you out of that place because they can do more damage to you than good if they pull you out of a place prematurely. Um, hmm. I hope that some of what I'm saying to you right now is kind of giving you a little bit of understanding as to where you are because there are different stages of the healing process. It's different stages. But again, I decided to do this video post um, because this honestly this is still a part of the healing process for me. It's very much so a part of the healing process for me. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I'm very, very close to all of my children. And I never would have dreamed in a million years that I would have ever had to experience something like that in all my life. But I understand that Because of where God is taking me in this life and in my walk in him, there are certain things that he allows us to experience. And it may not make all of the sense in the world at that particular time. But he says in his word that all things work together for good to them that love him and that, and that are called according to his purpose. So if you have a purpose in life like I know you do it's all going to work together for good at some point in your life it's going to work together and I know that kind of may not make sense right now for some of you all depending on where you are in the process but as I make this video post today is a bittersweet um, it's a bittersweet day for me because I know what today represents, but as I make this post, I can smile because I have this handsome, adorable, funny, Oh God, my mini me, my 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 face on a little boy's body. Oh God, I have him laying next to me, and he's asleep right now. Um, gosh, is by the time he gets to an age of understanding, he's going to, um. 
He's going to know who he is and why he is. Because mommy is going to make sure that she lets him know that he is a promise fulfilled. God promised me when everything happened that he would bless me with another son. God promised me that. And he spoke it through so many people. And I remember having this conversation with someone and um, they were saying, Noni, what if when you have uh, another son, he favors or he looks like Micah? And I was saying, God, that how can that be? How? I just, it just seemed impossible. I'm like that, that. I know God, I, I know you're a miracle worker and I know, I know you've done the impossible before, but I don't know if it, I just don't know if it could happen for me. Honestly, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but nonetheless, this little boy is here live and in color. <laughs> oh God. Sometimes, you know, we laugh to keep from crying. I'm a crybaby. Yes, I am. I would cry. But there's healing in your tears and in my tears. There's healing. There's a healing that comes along with those tears. Um, like I said... I hold these truths to be self-evident that God is a promise keeper. He has kept his promise to me. And if he does nothing else for me, I just want to tell God, thank you for keeping your promise to somebody like me. He is truly a promise keeper. So, my prayer for the mothers that are going through the process, through the healing process that is, my prayer is that God would begin to minister to you your purpose in life. I know you have jobs. I know you have careers. That's fine. But when God bursts a purpose on the inside of you, that's, it'll, it takes you further than any career, any job that you might think you have. No, 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 no. God wants to give you a purpose. Because when he gives you a purpose, there are people that are attached to that purpose. Yeah, it's people that are attached to that purpose. And you walking in your purpose is contingent upon others being set free. I just want to take the time right now to love on the mothers that have I've, I've come in contact with on Facebook. You know, Facebook is a wonderful place. It, it, it can be if, if it's used the right way. If it's used the right way. Um, I pray that God begins to wrap his loving arms around you and that he begins to reveal your purpose to, you know, um, pray he begins to reveal his purpose to you so that he can get his purpose through you. And I pray that God connects you with the right people that will minister to your spirit. And that God will give them the right words to say. Because everybody doesn't know what to say. Some people ramble off at the mouths and they just be talking. But I have this thing where I tell people, if you, if, <laughs> at least if you're going to speak a word especially to a mother 
that has had to lay her baby to rest, make sure that you hear from God. Because guess what? Sometimes it ain't even deep. Sometimes that mother just needs a hug. She needs to feel like she's loved and that she's human. Because guess what? We may be superwoman when it comes to everything concerning our lives. But when it comes to those babies, that's where we break. That's our breaking point. So if you've never experienced the loss of a child, I pray that God gives you wisdom to know what to say. If you ever find yourself connected to somebody that has had to go down this path in life or, 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 or somebody you might come in contact with, I pray God gives you the wisdom that you need to speak a word of healing. Or just a kind gesture. Because either way it goes, it's still ministering to that mother's heart. It's ministering, it's ministering to our spirit. Hmm. It's kind of all I have to say right now. So if you see me posting today. If you see me putting pictures up today, just know that those pictures and those posts are going on, going on uh, my page and through your timelines to show another mother that I understand where she is because I too am still going through the process. I don't think this process. I don't think the process will ever end. I think it's ongoing. But it's okay. I'm okay with that. Sometimes you need to feel where you are in that moment. You need to feel that. You need to feel it. So guess what? If I feel like crying today, I'm going to release those tears. However I decide to handle today... I'm going to do just that. If I don't want to answer my phone, I'm not going to answer my phone. This is my moment for myself and my children. And I just want to take the time right now to tell God, thank you. To tell God, thank you for allowing me to go through what I had to go through. And I also want to tell God thank you for being so faithful and for being so, oh God, gracious to me to put an angel in my life. Oh, he's so handsome. That's mama's baby. He don't even know at this age that He's bringing so much healing. So much healing. God, I can't thank God enough. There's not enough thank yous in the world that I could utter off of my lips. It's not enough. But again, I just wanted to put up this video post because this is a part of my healing. It's a part of my healing. And I just want to tell you all thank you for being an ear to hear and allowing me to come into your lives via Facebook to share my testimony and this healing journey. Thank you so much. God bless you. Until you see my next post, pray for me today. Pray for my children. And I say thank you on, on their behalves.
say a special prayer for Brielle, for Mia, and for Yaki. He sleep. See?